tired and bored of being single? Here are my three tips to meet the one. This love month, we will be talking about something timely. Others call it overrated, but I'd say practical tips among the young and the not so young singles out there. Yes, you may be single and available and almost desperate of finding the one, or you may be single and not available but not heard the magic word yet. Or you may be that friend who keeps getting drunk after your friend keeps getting repeatedly rejected or heartbroken, then this video is for you. Hi, I am Dr. Shi Armero, your friendly OBGYN and lifestyle medicine specialist, and you are watching Doc Shi TV. Welcome back to my channel, loves. Thank you for always supporting me by subscribing and liking my posts and videos. If you are not a supporter yet, click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell for you to be notified on future videos. You might be wondering why I am talking about something non-medical or is it? Actually, in lifestyle medicine, we manage patients as a whole. Even when you come to me complaining of heavy menses, I usually probe on common stressors that could have aggravated the condition. If you are my patient, you would have noticed how I take time to talk to you. It's not that I have all the time in the world, but you see, talking is therapeutic too. Did you know that in lifestyle medicine, we have several elements and intervention modalities. There are whole food, plant-based diet, physical activity, stress management and emotional well-being, sleep, avoidance and cessation of substance abuse, positive psychology, and connectedness. In short, I remember it as feet, fork, fingers, feet for physical activity, fork for the food, fingers for smoking cessation, stress, sleep, and connectedness. Among these, today, we will talk about emotional wellness. And here are my three simple steps to meet the one. For your information or for the information of those who have not known me personally, I am happily married for 11 years. I have three lovely kids and still madly in love. Ooh. <laughs> One time, I had a dream. I cannot anymore recall what happened to me that day. But when I slept, Ryan Gosling was in my dreams. I hope you know him. He's a good-looking Hollywood actor who starred in the movie The Notebook. It's a popular uh, film version of a novel by Nicholas Sparks. In my dream, we were introduced to each other. And later on, he told me he liked me. It was like winning a lotto. I know it was weird, but if you were in my place, even when it was just a dream, without batting an eyelash, you'd jump off and kiss him right there, wouldn't you? But what's weirder was that I hesitated and honestly told him that I love somebody else. Ooh. <laughs> it was a big decision for me. What if it wasn't really a dream? I would lose my chance of being with the man of my dreams and even daydreams. But why did I reject him? Perhaps being madly in love would be a good adjective. However, I'd better label it as I am faithfully in love that even a Ryan Gosling cannot beat. How did I reach this point and even decided on settling down at the age of 22? Here are my three tips to meet the one. Number one, list your non-negotiables. We can have more than 100 in our list of our ideal man. Cute, pretty, smart, rich, gorgeous, 
tall, responsible, and the list goes on. But among these, identify your non-negotiables. A non-negotiable is something that your partner needs to have. It would encourage that you... I would encourage that you narrow down it to three. It would be the three characteristics that he or she must have that you cannot live without. Again, list your non-negotiable. Who does not want a cute, cute, pretty, smart, rich, gorgeous, tall partner? We all do! But I personally have just three non-negotiables. Number one, he must have the same faith as I do. Growing up from a religious family, I learned to love God at a young age. I want to teach my children the same and so it is necessary for me that my partner believe in the same God. That's my first. Now my second non-negotiable, he must have a good relationship with my parents. Being an only child, I grew up very close to my parents and so I don't want them to have a hard time when I decide to get married. I must have a man that loves my parents too and respects them equally as how I love and respect them. So that's my second non-negotiable. My third non-negotiable, he must be resourceful. He does not need to come from a very rich background as long as he knows how to feed me three times in a day. He should be able to provide for me and my family without being dependent from his parents. And so those are my three non-negotiable. So what are your three non-negotiables? List them down now. Number two tip. Pray before, even before you have met him. This is especially true among those who are single and available. If you do not have a partner yet, Pray that when you meet, both of you are healthy and do not have baggages from previous relationships. We do not want a theme song that goes, we have the right love at a wrong time. Or, if you have a partner already, pray that both of you will remain faithful till the time you face each other in the altar. Unfaithfulness can come in many seemingly harmless forms by which you should be watchful example a text mate or a friend or an ex-lover that messages in messenger or reviver these seemingly harmless people can destroy the security in the relationship so you pray hard rather than saying how can i tell her about you or him so this is i hope you know that song it's an old song by lobo did I pray for my husband? You bet. I planned to marry at 21, but I never had a serious relationship. I was dating here and there, but it never went more than three dates. It must be because I was already studying medicine or perhaps the guys see me as someone with very high standards. Little do they know, I only have three non-negotiables. So I prayed to St. Joseph for intercession. The Catholics revere him as the devoted husband of Mary. So I pray to him every day that he would help me recognize when the one comes by. I might have a VIP ticket to heaven because my prayers were answered. The last and the third tip, get ready to marry. Yes. I do not mean to put pressure, but when you would already like to meet the one, cut the drama and go direct to the point. When I started dating, my mom asked me if I was ready to marry. Of course, I just laughed. How could I marry when I am still young? But I now understand better why she asked me that question. Dating without plans of getting married may first make you become unavailable when the right one comes by. Second, in dating or in wrong relationships, you invest not just your time, but your effort and your memories. Imagine being romantically involved with somebody for years. Of course, 
you will gain common friends, you frequent a restaurant, you go to places, and then what happens when you break up? Poof! It becomes Coco Crunch. <laughs> I cannot say it will be gone with the wind because I wish, I, I just wish memories would be gone just like that. It will not be gone. It remains there. And so that's my second reason why it's not good to date without plans of getting married. And third, you run, you run out of things you do when you're dating. So let's be frank here. We are at a time when the younger ones are not afraid of losing yourself in the relationship. Losing oneself, including giving up everything. You know that everything, I mean everything, for that person. But Doc, I really love him and I am willing to give him everything. Did you know? Accomplished guys love women who knows how to love themselves. Meaning... If you lose somebody more than how you love yourself, then that becomes a turn off. Guys are by nature hunters. If they lose this nature by example, being too available, being too predictable, being too easy, then don't ask why he left you for another girl. And for the record, even when you see me as a millennial and somewhat liberated, I had only one sexual partner, and that is my husband. We never had issues on third party. We never had issues on insecurities because of my male friends, which I have a handful of male friends. And I feel that my husband trusts and values me more because of this. But wait! What if, Doc, I gave it up already? It, is it too late for me? Oh no, my love. All you have to do is to decide that today you will love yourself better and remember that you are way, way, way beautiful than you think you are. So, when you are decided to meet the one, get ready and say yes. Wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Or, if you are that guy, as Beyonce said, Put that ring on. So, these are my three tips to meet the one. List the non-negotiables. Pray for him or her. And third, get ready to marry. I hope this video has reached our single ladies out there. Or if you feel that your friend might need to watch this, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video. Once again, I am Dr. Shi Armero, your friendly OBGYN and lifestyle medicine specialist. And you are watching Doc Shi TV, your way of life. Always remember that emotional health is as equally important as physical health. Great health do not come from medicine. Oftentimes, it comes from peace of mind and heart and from laughter and love. To the next video, bye! Thank you.